you need a pin vise. Lock that in there. You need to know what kind of distance. Let me let me give you good examples of how to work. Like get a, don't just guess it. Draw, open up your dividers and know a little bit further than the distance you need up and down the side of that. Hook it on the end. Put a line on there. I don't know if it's clear on the screen, but there's my little line I put on there. Get that down to the chuck in your pin vise, very close to it, because you don't want to. You want to reduce the risk of this wobbling about, because we're about to start cutting it and filing it. Hold on to it gently. Make sure the wire is supported by the wood, and you're holding onto the vise nice and strong. Carefully cut into the claw. I would say go down like a third. Go down a third. Don't go any more. A quarter or a third. Don't even go to halfway. It's a little bit borderline pushing your luck if you go down halfway. So a third, I'm calling it. Get a needle file. I like it because this edge is useful. I'm going to hook that in my saw cut. Holding this up at an angle a little bit and just file down a little bit. And as I get going filing, I then flatten it. We want a, a nice flat section off the side of this claw. This is why I recommended putting it down up to the chuck because it's less likely to get pulled about and bend out of shape. I would always start it off like that. I think I may be tempted to get a paper disc and just zing it down. That'd be a good way to work on this. Have a look from the side, see if I go in. Okay, a bit more. But yeah, try and keep it parallel to the that back edge. You don't want to be going sharper or obviously going down more at that end. So have a check every now and again on the side. So with that flat little edge there, you can hook it on the top. That can now be held in position. One, one benefit of doing it this way is if you did get it in the wrong position and you had to take it off and move it, you can do so. And then it would just take a simple little bit of paper in to get rid of any little solder, solder marks left behind. And then your collet is still fresh, ready for putting a claw on. The way I like doing it, it's quite severe. You can't move a claw easily. Uh, maybe I've got experience and a bit of confidence, I'll get it right. But this way might suit people a bit more who are learning or just figuring out the best ways to proceed with stuff. Uh, because it's a bit less devastating to, to the collet because you haven't cut a big groove in it.